Hello everyone, this is Douglas E. Welch from DouglasEWelch.com. I had a question today over on my uh, new media interchange community site, available at community.newmediainterchange.com. And the question was about how do I redirect a GoDaddy purchase domain over to a WordPress.com blog? This is a very common thing because uh, often you wanted to set up a quick blog uh, to get started. Maybe you're not sure if the project's going to be a go or not, but you want to get a blog up and running, but yet you still want to have a nice domain name pointing at it. Well, the fact is you can do that with GoDaddy or, in fact, pretty much any site. Uh, first of all, what you have to do is you have to log into the site wherever your domain is hosted. In this case, it was GoDaddy, which I happen to use as well. And so I enter my login name and password, and I'm taken to the GoDaddy site. In the GoDaddy site, you'll notice at the top of the window, there are a series of pop-up menus. One at the top here is labeled Domains, which I just simply point my mouse at, and then I choose My Domains. And when I do this, it's going to take me over to another page listing all the domains I currently host at GoDaddy.com. And you see I have three of them. Well, basically, we'll use New Media Interchange as my example. If I want to change anything about that domain, I simply click on the name of the domain. It takes me to all the information for that domain. And there we go. And there's a series of things that you can change about this domain. Now, the one we're most interested in, though, is right here, forwarding. And you can see the last time I made an update on that forwarding. Forwarding basically means point this name over to another site. We then click on the Manage button right here. And that takes us over to the interface, which allows us to manage the website. Okay, so right now you'll see that my domain, New Media Interchange, is already forwarded. And it's already forwarded, in fact, over to a WordPress.com blog. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you'll, it'll probably simply say Add here. But the effect is the same. If I click on Edit, you'll see something similar to what you see when you first come to here. First of all, it's saying forward NewMediaInterchange.com to http colon slash slash and in this box you simply put in the URL you were given for your wordpress.com blog in this case I believe it was new media tea time dot wordpress dot com you want to leave the update my DNS settings button checked if you want to get a little fancier there are a couple of options down below forward only and you can tell it whether this is a permanent or a temporary redirect I leave this one on temporary for WordPress because it's very possible that in the future I may actually be making this a uh, standalone WordPress blog. And at that point, then I would say go ahead and make this permanent, but temporary is fine for now. You can also forward with masking. What that does, instead of the user, when they click on New Media Interchange, seeing the WordPress URL listed above here, which is typically what they would see when they're forwarded somewhere, GoDaddy's domain servers can actually mask it and basically keep your domain name, in this case, newmediateatime.com, right there up front in top in the address bar. That has a few quirks about it, and in some cases I do it, in some cases I don't. It's kind of a um, very personal, subjective choice of whether you want to do that for, or not. Uh, it can lead to some odd uh, behaviors when users are bookmarking your site, but that's sort of beyond our conversation today. So anyway, at that point then, I simply come down here to the bottom of this window. You'll see the OK button. I click OK. And now this domain, newmediainterchange.com in my case, is now forwarded to newmediainterchange.wordpress.com. Now, it can take a few minutes, up to an hour or so, for that forwarding to start to take place. So don't panic if it doesn't switch over right away. Give it at least an hour to basically propagate to all the DNS servers. It might happen immediately. Sometimes that happens too, but just be aware that there could be a short delay in doing that. Well, I hope this has helped you out. For more information, you can visit the New Media Interchange community site, community.newmediainterchange.com, and you can also visit my site, douglasewelch.com.